Thomas Shahan, and I'm here in the field today with the Venus Twin Flash System. And honestly, it's a really cool lighting solution for macro photography. And it's different from any other twin flash system on the market, like the uh, Canon or Nikon or Sony twin flash systems, because it has built-in articulating arms, which is really, really helpful. I've spent a lot of time messing around with different types of flash brackets, and ball heads, and honestly, really cumbersome solutions to be able to manipulate the lights and put them anywhere I want to. The nice thing about the Venus system is it has these bendy, creaky arms. So Venus tells me that the arms have been made more robust with the KX800 model and they will hold their position better. But one word of caution is that the flash heads uh, are wired through these lock line arms, so be careful. Okay, on the back of the unit, there's no fancy menu system or anything, so you really have to read the manual and figure it out. But what this does, over here on the left, this controls the light output of the left flash head. This over here controls the light output of the right flash head. And then down here, if you press up, I can increase the power of the modeling lamp. Um, and it actually gets really quite bright at the full power there that would show up in your exposure, even with the flashes. So I find even on its lowest setting, it's still enough light to help with focusing. And you can turn that off. And also if you press left or right down here, you can turn off individually the flash heads. So I could just have the right flash on or just have the left flash on. One thing you really have to consider with flash and macro photography is properly and adequately uh, diffusing the flash heads. So you see a lot of people will go for a twin flash system thinking, I'm getting really harsh shadows in my macro photographs. If I have another flash head, I'll be able to fill in that cast shadow and have a lot softer light. And then they're still not happy because they have these really harsh specular catch lights because you have to be able to diffuse the flash heads. Um, this is an aesthetic choice. You don't have to diffuse your flash, but by nature, arthropods are very uh, often uh, glossy or metallic. So this is obviously not a bug, but this Christmas ornament is very reflective. So without any diffusion, uh, there's harsh cast shadows and really gross specular catch lights. Um, adding little puffer diffusers or individual diffusers for each flash head, um, there's still shadows and clearly I'm using a twin flash. Now popping both of those lights through a large piece of tracing paper really really softens the light. So take a look at that shadow and the catch light in the top of the ball. Okay, so what I'm assembling here is a very temporary solution just as a way of diffusing these uh, two flash heads. So this is a piece of tracing paper and a eight and a half by 11 uh, binder sleeve. And um, as you can see here, I'm just utilizing the uh, focusing lamp as a way of holding the diffuser up. And I'll position these flash heads a little bit further away from the diffusing medium you see there to give a little bit of space. If I were to push these flash heads right up against the diffusing medium, we'd have very bright hot spots coming through. But if I pull them back a little bit and push the diffusing medium further away from the flash heads, it allows uh, the light more space to spread throughout the diffusing medium and will have softer, more aesthetically pleasing light. What I'm doing now is I've opened up the aperture a little bit and I've dialed back the flash heads quite a bit so I can actually get a little bit of the light in the forest in the background. We're going to show how wonderfully soft you can make the light with two flashes bringing a lot of light from different directions. Now take this Chrysina Jewel Scare Beetle. If I were just to light it from the right with the right flash head, it leaves the pronotum in the dark. And with just the left, it leaves the elytra in the dark. Utilizing both flash heads, we have a much wider swath of light that can accommodate the whole beetle. And finally, here are the two flashes bare. Gross. Now, let's get to the thing that matters in a review. Uh, do I like the product? Uh, will I continue to use it? Uh, and the answer is yes. I really like this twin flash system. Um, initially, I was pretty nervous about twisting the wires apart in the lock line arms, but after two months of pretty rough and tumble use, it's still going strong. The flash recycle time is quick, 
Um, the arms have been holding their position. Uh, it consistently fires. It, it just behaves the way I would like it to. And it sounds a little goofy, but it's opened up a whole new era of um, macro photography lighting for me. And um, I'm really excited to continue to use it in the future. And uh, as a closing note, I'd like to thank Venus Optics for sending me a review unit. And if you would like to take a look at the flash for sale, you can go to venuslens.net. If you'd like to learn about my photography, you can go to thomasshahan.com. Thank you.